So you've heard all the statements about the Galaxy S10e. Everyone loves this device. People say it's better than the iPhone XR. Really, why is it better? We're going to find that out in this video. But before we even go ahead, just remember this, guys. I'm giving away a Galaxy S10e, so definitely use the link down below to enter into the giveaway because you could win one. So anyway, let's find out why the Galaxy S10e is better than the iPhone XR. All right, so we've heard so much about the Galaxy S10e. It's better than the iPhone XR. But really, let's start from the very basic. The first two things I'm going to mention really just set things apart for you. Let's talk about price. Now, both of them are theoretically priced the same. The XR is 749 The Galaxy S10e is 749 Except the second thing I'm going to mention is storage. You get 64 gigabytes of storage on the iPhone XR, and that's it, done. And then you have to get either iCloud or Google Drive or OneDrive, whatever you want to. While on the, I, on the Galaxy S10e, you get 128 gigabytes of storage. So basically double the storage and you can expand that via micro SD card. So um, you, you can go up to, up to a terabyte. So you've got more storage and, and you can pile that on with, of course, online storage. So you've got so much more benefit from it with price and storage from the Galaxy S10e. Now, moving on to our third thing is the display. I mean, Samsung makes one of the best displays on the mar market. The dynamic uh, AMOLED display is great. It's vibrant, it's uh, Full HD+, and it is much better than what you have with the iPhone XR. The XR has the, the, one of their um, Retina displays. Uh, it's, the resolution is funky, it's like 840p or something like that in terms of resolution. And you can clearly see when you hold the Galaxy S10 e display, you're watching that video, you can see the 10e packages in the video, they look much better, the nice, nice HDR around, it just looks good compared to what you have with the iPhone XR. Plus, the punch hole is better than the notch. Yes, both of them are, of course, notches in some degree. One takes less of a footprint and doesn't block away a lot of your views. So I gotta go with that. It's just so much better. Now, our number four thing is cameras. Yes, they both have, of course, rear cameras, front-facing camera. The front-facing camera on the Galaxy S10e shoots at 4K, 4K resolution. Plus, selfies have some really interesting live focus modes, which is pretty good. Now, the front facing camera on the iPhone XR is also good as well. It doesn't shoot at 4K though, that's something to note. And it's got a single rear camera. Meanwhile, the rear camera on the Galaxy S10e has an ultra wide, massive, yes. You can take up so much real estate with that camera and it shoots at 4K, but it has the feature that I wanna talk about, which is steady shot, which means when you're running or shooting action shots, the Galaxy S10e camera stays steady. The iPhone XR, not so much. So you have that there as well. So you've got a lot more features with the camera, which is just, to me, it's truly really awesome. And finally, a feature that I think that just en encompasses everything you get with the Galaxy S10e is, has to do, of course, with wireless charging. Now, both devices do have that feature. There's wireless charging on the iPhone XR, there's wireless charging on the Galaxy S10e, except it's got wireless charging 2.0, which is faster, almost close to, to standard wired charging uh, speeds. So it charges faster wirelessly with the Galaxy S10e, of course, unless you use the wireless uh, charger 2.0, which you do. And then it also has reverse wireless charging, AKA wireless power share, which means you can wirelessly charge your Galaxy Buds with you on the road on your Galaxy S10e. You can't do that on your iPhone XR. You can't charge anything on there, any, really. So even if you've got another phone or watch, nada. You can't, but the Galaxy S10e, you can actually wirelessly recharge something, which is great. So you've got so many things that stack up that says, this is a great deal. I mean, the other things, of course, like just the hold and fit. When you hold the Galaxy S10e in your hand, it feels comfortable. It's not bulky. When you look at the 10 hour, it feels like a chunky piece of chocolate in your hand. I don't know why. Inside of chocolate, but it feels chunky. So you get that idea there. Um, you know, you're also talking about some of the other features with this device in terms of the lifestyle features it has, of course, um, and also uh, the fingerprint sensor on the power button. There's so many things you can add with that too that makes this device worth your time. But 
If you guys don't agree with me, let me know. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Do you think the iPhone XR is better than the Galaxy S10 e? I don't think so, but I'd like to hear your thoughts anyway. Don't forget to like and share this video and favorite this video, guys. Also, don't forget to enter into our giveaway. We have a link for you guys down below. This is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.